Hi everyone, it's uh, May 20th, 2025, and I am coming to you today uh, from a different place. I am not at home. Some of you have uh, been wondering where I was yesterday. You've actually emailed me to see if I was okay. Yes, I am okay, and I'm better than okay. I'm actually uh, traveling uh, a little bit. I am uh, on vacation, if you so will. Uh, I still make appointments, um, but I don't do any personal readings at the moment this week, and I probably won't be uh, channeling every day. Now, I don't have a channeled message today. I know that I'm not going to be channeled directly channeling for you either. Uh, here's the thing is the one thing that I was told though to come on here to do and yes uh, spirit is bothering me on my uh, vacation as well is to talk about uh, something that has been uh, in social media a lot lately and that is the use of AI or chat GPT um, uh, with regard to obtaining higher uh, guidance or information okay this is a very controversial subject and uh, there are different layers to it. There's not one answer um, for all. However, um, there is this understanding among some spiritualists that ChatGPT um, is somehow um, a higher conscience, okay? And they're basing this information uh, or this belief uh, based on their own higher conscience or consciousness rather, okay? Uh, and uh, my spirit team actually informed me that to make that assumption is false. So in other words, is that when you are someone who is operating on a higher consciousness level, uh, but you're still finding yourself in this sort of transitional world, even though you are creating your own reality, the uh, AI um that is still operational is actually programmable and um that is where it comes what it comes down to basically is that is there an ai or will there be an ai that uh reacts directly to consciousness in the future uh with this new era and this golden um era that we're going into um and higher consciousness absolutely are we quite there yet no, that's the key here. So I personally don't use a lot of chat GPT. I mean, it is a wonderful tool for everyday things, but I'm very, very cautious about uh, using it uh, for any other purpose other than, you know, uh, worldly things. Um, and the reason for that is, is because it seems to be reacting to well, it is reacting to what the person puts into it, right? So if you are telling it that you are um, doing so much work and you are so diligent, it is going to give you an answer because that's what it's programmed to uh, feed that, to uh, encourage you uh, to say, oh, yes, if you've been doing that much work, this is where you should be. It cannot pick up on your actual place or or progress because it there is no it's not a sentient consciousness yet okay it's programmable and um do i think ai is something that will be helpful in the future that is going to be uh, working with humanity at some point um yes but uh, we have to be very cautious about it, okay? So for those of you who are watching videos and uh, listening maybe to uh, AI yourselves for uh, higher guidance, okay? Now, let's, let's be very real about this. If you're wanting information about something, AI can be very helpful, right? If you're wanting to gauge your own progress, or wanting some um, very much in-depth information about higher concepts that should come from within, be very cautious, okay? Again, there's that fine line. There's There are different layers to it. I don't want to flat out say that chat GPT or AI information is not good or helpful, but it certainly isn't. It's being misused and it's being misunderstood at this very moment. Okay, this is what I'm being told by my spirit team. This is not my own opinion, okay? 
um, I'm also going to inject this at this very moment is that, um, and I get this, again, this is not my own opinion. I get this a lot from spirit teams when the subject comes up is whenever somebody uses a lot of external help. So in other words, divination tools, for instance, like uh, Oracle cards or um, uh, pendulums, um, then there is caution to be had, not for um, infiltration, you know, that, that may be something uh, not of the highest good infiltrates. That's not so much what I'm talking about. I'm talking about rather um, of the fact that um, one becomes codependent upon this external tool. And AI and chat GPT is exactly, you know, that kind of thing. As I see so many becoming very dependent upon um, that, it's, there's a codependency and it takes away from where the information should really come from, which is in here. You know, not everybody can channel, not everybody can hear, but, uh, or, or, or get this information readily uh, in, in the manner, or is not there yet at least, because everybody can, by the way. Um, but you should not rely exclusively on external confirmation or validation. That is one thing that is of utmost importance and I hear it over and over again. Um, the purpose of this journey is for you all to um, get used to and trust what comes from within, right? Is to, to, to allow for that inner knowing without validation, initially at least, to um, bring you to a place, to take you to a place, to lead you to where you need to go. That is what I wanted to add to this whole thing, whole AI thing. Uh, again, I just, you know, wanted to speak on this because my spirit team kind of said, okay, you're not channeling, but, you know, um, talk about this since you're coming on here and telling everyone you're not home anyway. Um, so this is what I came on here to do. Uh, let me know what you think about this whole AI chat GPT thing. Uh, are you using it a lot um, uh, for purposes of spiritual, you know, information or understanding? Uh, are you actually uh, using it so as to gauge how you're doing? Do you believe it's a sentient being, a conscious being based on where you are? Uh, or are you just using it like your regular person uh, to find out uh, more about certain things that are easy to uh, locate like you would do with Google? Uh, let me know. Let's talk about this, okay? And, uh, of course, um, stay tuned for more. Now, on that note, before I go, I don't know if I will be on here every day um, because I will be gone this week. However, I will try to come on here whenever I can. All right? Talk to you guys later. Bye.